It is Tuesday morning. No rain yet, but 43 degrees out there. Time to wake up, everyone. JC? And good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. This is Athens in the AM. Of course, you already know that on the Tuesday morning edition of Cooper & Company Live right here joining us today, Mr. Bill Matthews. Good morning. Give me a sec, Bill. I'll get back to you in just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> We'll check with Bell just a little bit too. We got a lot of folks in here from Lindsay Lane this morning, going uh, from the high school. They're going to do a skip for us later on this morning too. Plus somebody else coming up from there. Plus we're going to talk about a new book coming out from Lindsay Lane. Plus Zach's in here this morning, as always. Bama Zach, y'all heat him up in the green light room. You got somebody sick, dying, or just wanting to have their name on TV? Just give them a call. That's all it is to it. Of course, the kitchen always brought to you by Hometown Market. There's five locations and one near you. Here, what else is coming? this weekend. There's a big football game, believe it or not, this Friday night up in Ardmore. Yes, they've talked some other people into playing, so we'll <laughs> Coach Leg got with us, but he sent two of the players. We'll check with them in just a little bit. Not too late to get your tickets to go to that because it goes for a worthy cause. Weather going to be picture perfect for a football game coming up Friday night. A lot of things going on. Easter two weeks away. We'll tell you more about that in just a little bit, too. A lot of things happening. If you ain't a member of Lindsay Lane, I don't know why you're even in the studio this morning. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wasn't planned. It's just the way it kind of worked out. All right. It's a Tuesday morning. We'll get things cranking right now. Here's Glory with a fantastic weather for after today. Oh, I was hoping you were going to say that because I had to say 40% chance of rain this afternoon. Could be some severe thunderstorms, so keep an eye on the weather today. We're at anywhere from 37 to 42 degrees this morning, depending on where you are. High temperatures today around 65 with your low of 41. Partly cloudy skies throughout the day until that rain gets here. Now, after today, we are in store for some several, or actually several days of beautiful weather. You're going to see temperatures in the 70s. Look at that. The weekend, 77 for your your high Sunday absolutely gorgeous with sunshine and 77 as well. Come here. Good morning, Bill. How are you? Good morning. I know you don't get that dressed up every morning at six o'clock. That's right. Yeah, because yeah. I know you don't go to work till about eight. Mm. Oh, exactly right. Oh, but he's getting kids I, ready. I, yeah, I drop my kid, I drop my son off at Athens Intermediate School at 7:45 and head on in. All right, I don't think we have that picture of uh, Chiswick. And his daughter. Yeah. And, that like, and it kind of reminds me of you, baby, when your daughter goes on her first date. I, I show, my son's a senior in high school, and I showed that picture to him last night. And I said, What do you think about Chiswick's daughter? And I said, uh, He's going to Auburn. My son is. And I said, Well, she may be at Auburn next year. And what do you think about going now, out with her? Now, does he still, right. live, he still lives there, doesn't he? Uh, Chis, I think he does. He's going to be on payroll, I think, for several years. Yeah. So. <laughs> hey, well, like you've been working out I live there, too. You I live see, there his too. arms look about like yeah. that bigger house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go to the green light this morning. Find out what's shaking with the man who's always energized, Mr. Bama Zach himself. What's happening, Zach? I don't know, bud. How you doing? Well, I'm doing all right. I'm hoping you know something. I'm <laughs> well, I better mention saying. first, we're just talking, Bill's talking about the Athens soccer team. His son, William, William's on the team. Uh, they're in first place. They buy half a game over Let me stop right you right there, Zach. Mr. Matthews, do you know how honored you are that Zach just led with a soccer story? Isn't that unbelievable? Because, I mean, yeah, he don't do nothing but... Football. That's right. <laughs> I, had to Alabama, Alabama football. I know nothing about soccer. Yeah. <laughs> but since yeah. Bill's a former classmate, I'll, I'll take I'll take care of Bill this morning. All right, right. So what else you got there? Well, All right. Uh, UConn won last night, beat Kentucky. So SEC did not win another championship. Uh, did you watch that? You stay up late and watch that game, Zach? Yeah, I stayed up watching. You did? What, what time was it over? A tip off. About eight, ten. ten. It was about ten, ten fifteen. It was over. With. You don't miss a sporting event, do you, Zach? Try not to, Jamie. That's why you You watch it on TV, watch it on your iPad, iPhone, you're all, you're covered. All right, what else checking that? Hey, uh, well, you, we got the fellas in here. They'll be talking about the Ardmore Elkman alumni game Friday night. Ardmore, you can still get tickets for that. Uh, Coach Legg's not with us today because he's getting ready for Hayden Durant signing with Campbellsville University hey. in Kentucky. And according to Coach Legg, Are they signed at 6 this morning? Well, I don't know what time, but they got to go, go up <laughs> you know, to stuff. Right. Says, well, I got a meeting I got to be in. I can't make it. I'm thinking, what are you doing at well, 6 in the morning? I, I, but according to Coach Legg, this could be the first player in Ardmore to sign a football scholarship in at least over 20 years, maybe yeah. ever. So they've had a lot of academic scholarships kids play, but f first football. Well, let me interrupt you a second, Zach. All right. I'm going to ask Bill Matthews a question this morning. Uh -oh. What happened 40 years ago today? Uh, yeah, come on, Bill. That should be an easy so. question. We, so, uh, thank you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, Karen, yeah. in his hit the home run that passed <laughs> Babe Ruth, and I remember the NBC, I think it was NBC, broke in, and I can remember watching that. Of course, you were just mm. about, what, two years old at the time, or one? No. <laughs> ten. Ten? Yeah, oh, yeah. you're ten. Yeah. All right, so anyway, yeah, Hank Aaron hits that, and I was just reading it, talking about Hank Aaron, you know, he's from Mobile. It said here we talk about baseball, politics, country's got a black president. When you look at a black president, President Obama's left with his foot stuck in the mud. Uh, he went on to say some other bigger things here too. He said the bigger difference is that back then they had hoods. So you're talking about the Klan. Now they got neckties and start shirts. So mm -hmm. Hank's going out on a limb here talking about Republicans. What is this? what he says wow. here. He's 80, looks around, sees a few African Americans. Do you know how, said back when he played in the Major League Baseball, it was 50 50 black and white or majority black. The last year's rosters, you know what the percentage were black baseball players? Oh, majority. 25, 30%. 25, 30%. Less than 10%. 7.7%. Oh, my God. That's you believe it? that? That's yeah. not the NBA, 150% black. <laughs> that's what I was yeah, Eight. that's hard to believe. Just seven or seven basketball percent. was on my mind. Seven percent with that. That was. Uh, what else you got, Zach? You know what happened 20 years ago today, don't you, Jamie? Uh, I was 40 years old. No. <laughs> Michael Jordan <laughs> debuted for the Birmingham Barons. Oh, really? So, you know, that was a big day. I remember watching him when he came to Huntsville. Everybody was, everybody, the crowds, they were, they were huge. And he was terrible at baseball. Zach, I was just reading the new listing for the Limestone County Sports Hall of Fame. Once again, you failed to make it. You either, Bill. <laughs> well, I thought Bill would. Bill, Bill had the outside shot when we were in school. Tanner Principal Billy Owens will be. We'll see him Friday, the uh, Special Olympics, Olympics at Athens Express. High School this year instead of Tanner at 9 o'clock. We'll be there. Congratulations to Billy. Billy was one of the Paul Bears and Keith's funeral back in uh, January. Mm -hmm. So Billy, one of the greatest guys. But also says here, a non-sporting man is making it. Hugo Bates. Hugo deserves it. Mr. Bubblegum Bubble himself. If you've yes. never gotten bubblegum from Hugo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what a a 19, 5, pieces. Yeah. yeah, a 1955 graduate of Tanner High School, best known for the sport of Alf, a, Athens athletics and a lot more for over for decades. Congratulations, he has to such spend a fifty dollars a month on bubblegum. What'd you think? How long has he been yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you were? Did he start? Oh, you were a kid yeah, playing I, basketball. I, I, I know. He, I know. I got it when uh, my son Williams a senior when Williams was in kindergarten. I started. <laughs> oh then. wow, yeah. he goes off. So that's twelve. That's thirteen, <laughs> 13 years. years. Yeah. All right. Y'all know the Masters is this weekend. You drink yes. diet drinks? I drink diet Dr. Pepper, yeah. Diet Dr. Pepper. About how many a day would you have? I'd probably have just a couple a week. A couple a week, yeah. USA Today this morning, y'all know who John Daly is, golfer. Mm -hmm. He drank 26 to 28 cans of Diet Coke per day. Wow. <laughs> Come per on. day. And oh, my goodness. It? And now he's had that uh, <laughs> surgery, lap band surgery. He's down to... 10 to 12 a day. Oh, <laughs> oh well, gee. My goodness. That's yeah, a good no way. He's still, 10 he's to 12 still diet drinks a day? But he was drinking 26 to 28. Hey. Don't, start a, don't wow. diet drinks have a lot more caffeine than regular Yeah, they're supposed Sugar to be, according to Alan Coleman. If you're going to drink a drink, drink, do not drink diet drinks that the other drinks are, if they're, they ain't none of them good for you, but if you're going to drink, okay. drink the whole Coke or Pepsi. Don't that's drink the diet that's drinks. I drink diet Mountain Dew. See, yeah. Zach, there's your problem. You're Probably drinking diet Mountain Dew. But hey, it, it, get, it gives me a better kick than some other stuff I've tried. What about Auburn's new uh, basketball hockey? Yeah, you know, they're, they're calling Chuck Person. Yeah, I saw something where they said he's the greatest player to ever play at Auburn. I don't know what Bill would say instead of uh, Charles Barkley, but, but you kind of figured that was going to happen when he was there at Bruce Pearl's at, in, introductory press conference. But hey, that's a great hire for Auburn. Chuck Person. You know, they can walk around, you know, one of the greatest players ever played at Auburn. So Bruce Pearl's doing the right things. Like I said, I still hate I still hate Auburn's got him instead of Alabama. So well, that's the way it goes that we can't win everything. I know it. <laughs> How many of y'all I gotta give a shout out right now to Steve Maples, the executive director over at the Bon Braun Center. We were over there for He's the circus. Awesome. They had about yeah, forty five thousand people went to the circus. Huh, who's that guy? That's me on the right, little dusty back the ball. Get this. Dusty made his first appearance ever at the circus. He was like a kid in a candy oh, he store, was. man. He was paying attention. I mean, he was excited. He was clapping. There's a little selfie. Oh, she yeah. was enthused, Yeah, there's a little too. selfie with us. What else we got there, Brad? She enjoyed it. Uh-huh. Those are elephants, in case nobody ever went to the circus, didn't know what they were. <laughs> you know, I, I got to ask Bill a legal question. I mean, there's Dusty.